Hey friends, I am back in the garden and I just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are doing. Our weather's been so unpredictable that I'm, we've inevitably lost some plants, um, but I've, I've done a little bit of uh, pest management with um, Captain Jack's Dead Brew by Bonide and that has helped quite a bit, um, especially with the vegetables. So let me show you how they're doing. Okay. So this is the okra that was planted, and as you can see, it's doing pretty well. Had to thin them quite a bit, but there has been some bug damage, as you can see right there. Mostly caterpillars and um, some leaf miners, but those have been mainly on the, uh, what you call it, uh, cantaloupes. I'll show you in just a minute. But the okra, the okra's doing pretty well. I think it's about six or seven inches tall now. Um, the Swiss shard is still struggling. I've got some baby Swiss shard there. A little bit right there. Right there. And right there. So it's still coming up. Um, and I think the rosemary has started to sprout. Pretty sure. That's one rosemary, I think. Um, I might have to put a fence around this too because our dogs like to uh, relieve themselves in this bed and it's been kind of a struggle to get them to stop. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's the cabbage. It's coming in okay. Um, I'm just kind of holding my breath waiting for it to get attacked by something. And the basil's looking okay. It's a little bit stressed out, um, I think, because it's been so hot. Um, and as you can see, the cantaloupe, and now this is the one uh, from seed. You can see those little vines kind of starting to branch out. Um, my dog's about to try and get in the flower bed. Hey, hey, nope, get out of there. <laughs> and um, as you can see, yeah, it's this one's gotten pretty attacked. Oh yeah, they're all all on there actually right now. So I'm probably going to dust that with some Captain Jacks. The leaf miners really love these guys. But they're trying to grow um, and go up this little thing I made. They're definitely pokey. Um, so I can tell they're trying to branch out. I don't know if they're going to produce anything, but they're trying, so I need to dust these with a little bit of bug control as well. They are getting eaten alive. And then I have the backup seeds over here, um, the okra, which had some little like crystal looking, you know, those look like, I'm not sure if they're eggs or something, but they look like little, little beads of some kind. I'm not sure if that's an egg of some kind. Um, this launcher is loving its life. And all the other guys, the ornamental pepper is starting to sprout. Oh, focus, focus. Starting to sprout right now. So that's exciting. And these little flowers over here. Um, this is just a wildflower mix, like a Save the Bees wildflower mix, and it's doing pretty well. Unfortunately, the sunflowers, I don't think they're gonna make it. Yeah, which is ironic because I put them in full sun and I watered them. I think they may have just gotten too much water. So I don't think they're gonna do very well. Um, Ivy's doing pretty, English Ivy's doing pretty well. I just took the hydrangea out of there and put it in the ground as like a last ditch effort. And there's the mint. I had to cut it way back into a really hard curve. It was doing pretty well and then it got really leggy. Um, I dusted it with some Captain Jack's dead brew and um, started to get kind of sad and it is a bait so I think that's part of the problem um, is that it attracts a bunch of a oh, bunch of pests and then over here um, this guy is doing really well I did also for some weird reason I decided to put Captain Jack's on this even though it didn't really need it and then it did get some bug damage I'm guessing caterpillars, but I'm not quite sure. Um, that can actually just come right off. 
I should be pruning that with my shears. But yeah, it's 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 got a lot of new growth. Um, oh, and it's about to sprout. It looks like with some buds, so that's exciting. Yeah, it got a little bit of leaf damage. Um, again, I'm not quite sure what came and munched on it, but I think it'll be okay. It's a pretty healthy plant. I'm gonna leave that one and leave these because they look pretty healthy. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. I love that arrangement. I just planted this guy and it may be a little wilty. It said full sun, but I think, again, the sun is just really intense right now. And the um, potato vine is looking pretty good. It, it had some, something munching on it, but I think that's the story for most of most of the potato vines right now and most all of the plants is that they're kind of getting eaten alive by um, bugs at the moment. And then this guy is just really going crazy. He's going into the neighbor's side of the fence, so I just had to pull that out. But it's doing well. It's not flowering yet, but I think it will because it's in enough sun. And then I got this one in the ground, but I think it went through a little bit of shock. Um, it's pretty, pretty wilty. It does have these like thorns, so I may pull it out anyway because it doesn't seem very safe, <laughs> but it's also not happy. And then this, um, Stone Crop Autumn Joy is very happy. It's a sedum. Oops. It's very happy right now, which is great. It's kind of like, leave me alone, let me do my thing, let me live my life. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just giving it a little bit of water, a little bit of love. Then we have this lone caladium, which <laughs> is hanging on. Um, and I think. If I'm not mistaken, I looked this up because I was not sure what kind of bulb this was. And I think it's a lily. Um, and soon, in a few months, when it starts cooling off, I'm gonna cut this back and let it go through a dormancy period. I found out that if you let your bulbs kind of do like a, we're in such a mild climate, we're in zone nine, and if you, ooh, right. If you let your bulbs kind of do their thing, like they would throughout winter, go through like a dormancy, um, I'm just probably gonna pop them in the fridge in like the crisper drawer because that's what I've been reading and hearing about that you should do. So that's what I'm gonna try. And then a good friend of mine gave me this, I believe it's called an angel wing. Um, and you have like a family heirloom, so I'm trying to make sure it doesn't die. It's getting a little bit, I think, burned um, somehow from something. I don't know if the soil I bought was bad or something like that, but hopefully it sticks around. Its blooms did fall off, but I think it's doing okay. So stay strong, little guy. Oh, and I just had to stop because aren't these coral bells gorgeous? Like, that is gorgeous. And they come back every summer. This, well, this is only the second summer. But I just think they're so beautiful. And they take up this whole fence, which is... It has a little bit of like privacy, but it also is just really beautifully draped over the fence to cover it up. Um, it's not like a privacy fence, so that's really nice. Oh, sun is so bright. And I am going to show you this guy. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get lower. It's not happy at all. I don't know what's going on with it, but I think, um, I think it had some sort of it had leaf. It has leaf minor damage for sure. Um, but I so I know that bugs are have been munching on it, um, and I'm not sure if I should just give it like a hard prune and hope it comes back. Um, I was going to take it down to the garden center near me um, and just see if they can maybe diagnose. I tried taking a picture and they weren't sure what was going on. They said to bring a leaf sample, so. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm super bummed because they're so pretty, and they were starting to bloom. I don't know if you can see right there, these little berries. I don't know if it's maybe that they were stressed out and just started to get attacked or what, but anyway, makes me kind of sad. I might need to get a fungicide or something, spray it on them, because it, it does look like maybe a fungus combined with with stuff eating it. So anyway. So I actually went ahead
ahead and trim these back just so I could have something to take um, to the garden center and also so that I could kind of preserve some of the plant's energy. Um, I trimmed all of them back, so let me show you. So here's what they look like now. That little guy is kind of sad, but he's coming back, it looks like, a little bit. The leaves look healthy. They don't look infected. Um, this one's still got a few infected leaves, so I'm probably gonna have to take those off, but I trimmed these way back, and then these are all just kind of sticks back here. But hopefully they'll sprout again, and I can, in the meantime, figure out what's going on, and maybe they won't get so, uh, but see how it's kind of growing a little set, getting ready to flower, and I, I don't wanna shock the poor thing too much, and this might be too much, but, that there's just a lot of damage a lot a lot of damage so I'm hopeful that the, the you know the plant itself is pretty healthy still and there's just some topical things to work on and I wanted to show you um, how some of the other plants are doing so the hibiscus oh here's another one of them that's not doing too bad some there's some damage down here that I need to and I just see this it makes me think that this is a fungus because like look how they're just the leaves are just falling off I mean I'm sure there are bugs too but like leaf miners and stuff but like this just looks really strange to me um, like a bug I don't know that a bug could do that so maybe if the all of the energy was coming out of the plant maybe but um, like all of these leaves are damaged which is just crazy to me so but these up here look okay I don't know if maybe the fungus hasn't reached these or if the bugs haven't reached these yet. I've only seen beetles on these, so it could be, could be a beetle. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just know I'm trying to like keep them trimmed. So hopefully they don't infect other plants if there's, if there's a fungus among us. So yeah, the hibiscus is doing pretty well. It has a little bit of bug damage here and here. Caterpillars have just been going insanely crazy this year. The moths and stuff, and I think it's probably all the rain. And But this is a very hardy plant, and I did dust it with some, um, some of the Captain Jacks, so we'll see. And then this little sister cousin hibiscus is doing okay. It's also got what looks like some of what that other plant was having problem-wise like some spots some of these like you know yellowing spots and I'm just not sure I really have no idea what that is but I'm also like pretty new at this so <laughs> it's hard to know but it does have blooms on it oh that bloom is totally gone actually that's interesting I wonder if something got to it um and I think the impatience are done they don't look good. Uh, we've had a lot of budworms, but they, these look relatively untouched. It's just their their leaves are all eaten up. So I, I don't think they're looking very happy. And there are several of our neighbors down the road that have had a very similar, sorry, I'm upside down, <laughs> a very similar problem. Um, the only, about the only thing that looks like it's really thriving are the tarot or elephant ears right now. They're just going insane. Um, and then I wanted to show you, I took the hydrangea out of the pot and this is where uh, it ended up. Yes, before, before I say that it's gonna be fine, um, this is where I dumped the uh, soil that had the, um, what you call them? Oh, I can't think today, words are hard. The termites, subterranean termites. Um, I was like, just crossing my finger because this is like the best spot it's on the east side of the house it's in a really good spot but it is um, near like a, a chopped down tree that's like rotting so I'm hoping it wasn't a bad move it might be but it's kind of not happy anyway so I've heard that they're pretty hard to kill so I'm just hoping it like roots in starts loving its life doesn't get attacked by anything majorly it's a big if. Knowing how things are going right now in the garden, it's, oh, odds aren't looking good. Um, but the, the other plants are doing okay. This one's really getting munched by something right here. Oh my word, yay, yay, yay. Whew, I'm going to take that out later. 
pastas are doing okay. The other sweet potato vine is going crazy. It's in the pot and you can see it just kind of like trails down. Um, so that's the end of that story of how things are doing. Um, I'm gonna run up to the garden center in the morning and hopefully that will, um, you know, do the trick for those plants that are suffering right now. I don't know if it's a combination of like just the stress of the heat and overwatering that we had for a few days, but we'll see if they bounce back. I'm not holding my breath. I'm just trying to keep everything alive at the moment, which is proving to be tougher than I thought. So tune in next time and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, I'm planning to do uh, some tutorials here pretty soon, which I'm excited about. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.